Trends come and go, and with the property market, it's no different. The trick is to stay up to date with the latest trends and know how to approach them. Here to guide us through some property trends for 2016 is Simon Bray, private property CEO. Simon, so good to have you here again. Good to see you again, yeah. So the South African landscape is changing. Many more people are moving towards the city in you know, the hope of finding employment. How does this affect the property market? Well, I mean, you're 100% right. I think uh, South Africa is still very much classed as an emerging economy. Yeah. And one of the key characteristics of an emerging economy is how many people are still moving into urban areas. So urban areas are developing really rapidly. Yeah. Areas like uh, Johannesburg, the CBD in Cape Town, uh, CBDs in East, uh, Eastern Cape, like East London and PE. So wow. these are really blossoming and growing areas. Uh, and it changes the property needs and the property requirements for people. So you see a lot of uh, apartments and high density type uh, developments going okay. in. So Simon, what types of property is showing the most growth? Well with these expanding urban communities you're seeing a lot of these uh, sectional title mixed use developments mm -hmm. coming in uh, and what that really means is people want to live, work and play in the same areas. You know traditionally suburbs were where you lived and then you'd go into locations like you know shopping malls or something to have a good time. Whereas now you're seeing that uh, the density of the cities and you know how many people are living there, the traffic flow problems cause people to want to live, work uh, and have a good time right in the same neighbourhood. Yeah, a lot of the times we see uh, trends internationally and we tend to copy that. Is, that. is that happening in the world of property as well? I think it is. You know, one of the key trends we're seeing overseas is an ageing population and an ageing population means more retirement uh, age people. And in South Africa we're starting to see that. You're seeing the traditional home owning market uh, guys that have had the traditional big South African house uh, with a lovely big garden wanting to downsize. So I think 2016 is certainly going to be a year we see more retirement focused yeah. developments popping up. I think what I love about South Africa is that we're tending to go green and we're becoming more eco-friendly. Is that happening with regards to the property market too? Oh, I mean absolutely. I think <laughs> I'm most excited about this because I yeah. think South Africa finally 2016 is going to be the breakout year for sustainable development wow. and I think that's really exciting. Uh, property has been under pressure for a long time with energy costs. You know, you've got uh, ESCOM pushing the price of electricity up on a regular basis. Uh, but this year we've seen the drought as well. Mm. Uh, and so people are thinking about water, how they conserve it, how they use it in their homes. And all of that is putting the focus on sustainable development. In fact, I mean, I'm doing a renovation now and the first thing you're thinking about wow. is, you know, solar geysers yeah, and yeah. grey water tanks and rainwater tanks. So. Mm. It's exciting to see us thinking like that, and I think that's going to be a trend this year. 2016 is certainly going to see a lot more eco-focused mm. uh, property development. Wonderful. Can we quickly touch on price growth? Which areas do you think has the potential for the best growth at the moment? You know, price growth across the market is going to be slow this year. Mm. The economy is not growing at a rapid pace. Uh, we've got a lot of challenges and pressures on affordability, uh, but I think they're going to be pockets that perform really well. Uh, and it's going to be those areas that meet the demands. Mm -hmm. uh, so guys that have got mixed use developments with high density near work locations uh, are going to be in demand. And of course, uh, an end of the market that's really going to thrive is the buy to let market. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see rentals go up uh, quite a lot during the course of 2016. And yeah. that's going to be a great opportunity for investors to get involved and and supply those uh, those investment apartments. Oh, wonderful. You see, when it comes to trends, it's important that we keep our finger on the pulse, and that's why we have you here. Thank <laughs> you so much, Simon. Hopefully this helped you to have a little bit more knowledge about what 2016 holds for all of us when it comes to the property market. Be sure to visit www.privateproperty.co.za if you want to find out more or discover what your next home or that perfect neighborhood will be.